If you are a teacher wondering how to get coding into your curriculum, your classroom, or you're a parent of somebody techie who likes this sort of things, these videos are for you. Hello, thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Move Motor Kit from Kitronics. This is a buggy or robot, I'm never quite sure on the terminology, that you can program with the BBC Microbit. It can be used with one BBC Microbit plugged into the robot or you can program a second one to use as a remote controller. Let's get into this. The kit comes in a box, relatively easy to self-assemble. And then the microbit that you buy separately, it's not included in the kit, just clips in to this breakout board at the front here. There's a quite a few features on this little robot. I'm going to call it a robot, otherwise I'm going to keep tripping up over the words. <laughs> There's quite a few features on them, which I think are really, really good. These sell for about £32, I think. I will put the cost on the screen. Uh, so they've got two motors connecting and driving two wheels. There are a host of sensors on here. There's the ultrasonic sensor at the front to measure distance and to, so you can program that if you want this to avoid collisions. There are, there's a pen holder in the middle so you can code the robot to draw some shapes with pens. I've never really got that to work very well and I also had to 3D print an adapter to actually hold a pen in there, um, but it is the functionality is there. And then if we flip that over, there's no batteries in this one at the moment. I tend to use the Amazon rechargeable AA batteries. You need four of those. There's also a buzzer in here. There's a line following sensor. There's a, a add-on kit that you can buy for that. It's also missing a roller ball. I'll come on to some of these missing points uh, in a few minutes. There's an on-off switch at the back, and then there's four LED LEDs on here that go through a range of different colours. You can program them to uh, alternate flash. You could set them all red. One of the tutorials on the website is based around a police car, so you can set them blue and red, which looks quite cool. Um, and then there's a siren on the buzzer as well. I would say this is designed as an educational piece of kit and the, the functionality on it is brilliant. I've been using these for over two years now and they are a piece of kit that my students come back to again and again in Technology Club. There are a lot of different things you can do with it. We do obstacle courses, we have races, there's loads. The one thing I will say though, they are not very robust. The main, the main issues I've had with these, the on-off switch, this is why this one's up here, that is such a small component to be used by not very um, delicate fingers, the on-off switch snaps off quite easily. That's the first thing. The other one that tends to go is the battery casings crack on the bottom. These things do get dropped, they get driven off desks, even when they're not supposed to be putting them on on the desks, and they do get bumped into walls. You can replace the battery casings, they just solder on and you can buy the replacement parts. I think I bought mine from Farnell, you probably get them on Amazon these days. But it is something to be aware of. And the other component that comes off quite a lot is the ultrasonic sensor at the, the front. It gets wiggled about a bit and then eventually the connector points just shear. Again, that you can solder that on, but you would need to buy replacement components for that. So it's just something worth bearing in mind. In terms of coding, these little robots, you use the Microsoft Make Code editor on the Microbit website. Now the Microbit website itself is phenomenal. If you are a teacher or you're a parent of someone who's very interested in this sort of thing, there are so many resources on there, you could definitely get yourself started. We're going to go into the Make Code editor. So you can code in block coding, which I'd recommend for the younger kids, or uh, JavaScript or Python. We're going to start in block coding here. You can start a new project, call it whatever you want. You get some heart-eyed emojis. <laughs> and then the website itself looks like this. You get a microbit simulator on the left-hand side. This means that you can use this website even if you don't have the hardware available because you can still see the code running on this simulator. The colour coded menus are in the middle and then the white coding screen is to the right here and you just click and drag the blocks onto the coding screen. They snap together quite well. The other thing to note is 
that anybody who designs an accessory for the micro bit can also design the blocks. So if you go into extensions, there is an extensive menu of extension blocks on here, depending on the accessory that you are using. So what we're doing here is just creating a very simple program to get the robot moving. The other function that I really, really like on here is that you can either use the micro bit on its own in the middle of the buggy and you just press, you'd code it so that you press the buttons to make the buggy move um, forwards and backwards. I'm using buggy now, aren't I? Robot, buggy. Oh wait, why don't I call it the move motor? That's better. So you can plug the micro bit into the move motor <laughs> and just use the buttons on the front. The problem then is you're scrabbling around on the floor, the kids tend to bash heads and there's all sorts of chaos. What you can do is program a second micro bit as a remote controller and I'd really, really recommend this as a learning session for the kids. They need to get their heads around radio waves, how that data is transferred, what data can be transferred and also the fact that you need two separate projects. One of them, the remote controller, is sending a signal or a piece of data and then the other project which is the micro bit that's going into the move motor is receiving that data and that sometimes takes a little while for them to get their heads around but once they got it oh the, op the opportunities are endless guys the opportunities are endless so there you go in summary the move motor is a brilliant bit of kit if you're wanting to get coding and technology into your classroom or into your home i would recommend them if you can solder it's helpful, but it's just a great little learning resource. Subscribe for more videos like these and let us help you prepare your students for their digital future. I hope you found this video... I hope you found this video... <laughs> Hair flick. I hope you found this video useful. We will be doing more, so please check back. What? And do what? And do what, Holly? Think this through.